All right, Geeks, thanks for checking us out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Check for our giveaway list. We have a lot of legends to give away, and you want to make sure that you're a part of it. Who doesn't like free stuff? Yeah, buddy. The beast that's dark. What's up? Let's go. All right, geeks, we're here looking at the Age of Apocalypse Dark Beast. This is the beast you don't want to mess with. He's not the regular old Hank McCoy that likes to make jokes, use a crazy vocabulary, and help you out in your times of need. This is the Dark Beast that will experiment on you in a heartbeat, will rip the skin from your flesh, and won't blink twice about it. All right, so he's in the same box as the rest of the wave. Got that dope font and the Age of Apocalypse stamp on the top. Sweet cartoony picture on the side and you know they're telling us right now with this big face of apocalypse on all these boxes that wave two the bath is going to be apocalypse I, you can bet on it i just hope it's bigger than the last apocalypse bath don't let us down hasbro all right back of the box you got the build a figure the rest of the wave marvel's dark beast dr henry mccoy constantly experiments on himself to enhance his superhuman powers Ah, they could have done better than that. He's experimenting on other people too. What up? Alright, Beast in his cage. No pun intended. Alright, so he comes packing Sugar Man's hammer. And he has two sets of hands. He's got the open ones that he has on him, then he has a spread eagle hand where all fingers are extended, and a fist. Whosoever be evil as hell possess the power of sugar. There's a close look at the alternate hands. Dr. McCoy, I presume. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Man, he's a beauty. Can't mess up the paint, really. It was all one color on the fur. He's got fur raising up from his forearms. It's a nice touch. Pants are light bowling ball type paint blue. And you can see he got the lines kind of like Absorbing Man. Now looking up at his hair, he's got two ponytails with uh, not ribbons, but maybe rubber bands on them. He's got earrings in each of his ears. I do have a white chip on that ear. A little bit of, I don't know if that's glue up in his forehead, but it's barely noticeable. All right, so my beast out of the box, when I went to turn his head, it just popped off. So check for that with yours. But I haven't even turned it yet. I don't know if you can get a 360 with that hair. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can, but it comes off. The hair and the shoulders meet up, so if you want to turn his head all the way to the back, you have to take it off and put it back on, it looks like. So I don't know what it is with mine. It seems like his right leg is longer than his left leg. He's kind of leaning over to the side. Maybe his, uh, I think one, oh, one knee is bent and the other isn't. Okay, well, well, I don't know. All right, we'll figure that out. But, uh, so the head to turn around, you gotta pop it off. That's as far as it goes before it pops off, at least with mine. That's him with his head looking straight forward. Does not really tilt back because of the hair, barely moved. But he does indeed look down. All right, so item of note, check your peg holes. Mine has peg holes, but they are too shallow to fit a peg. I tried to put the pegs in, and they stop right there. I don't know if you can see. Let me, hold on. See if I can give you some more light. Uh, doesn't work. 
but yeah, take my word for it and check yours. These peg holes are too shallow, they can't fit pegs in there. I was trying to get them to stand on a, a support stand, but it would not work. And my left leg, the knee, it doesn't feel loose, but it keeps bending a little bit. See, you saw, I don't know if you saw that, it just kind of moved back a little bit the minute I touched it, making it difficult for him to stand. All right, so that's as high as his arms go. I was hoping for Beast, they would go a little bit higher, but the raised fur on the shoulder gets caught at the joint. So it's as high up as you're gonna get it to go. You do get your 360 degree swivel on the arm. Do get your 360 degree swivel of the bicep. And this head keeps coming off. He does have a double jointed elbows. You can see the range you get there. He can almost touch his head. If you look at his left arm, it comes in and almost touches his torso. He does have the sweet butterfly chest joint, so you can see he can bring his hands in and it enables him to touch his face. Beast, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. You can see those butterfly joints go way back. Alright, his hands aren't loosey goosey. Not too tight either. They do bend in. They do bend back a little bit. Not a whole lot. So he does have an abdominal swivel rocker. And the head came off again, dang, whatever. He does have an abdominal swivel rocker, but he also has a crunch joint. But you don't get a lot of range there. Just one click down. Eh, I guess that's pretty decent. All right, so you don't get a waist swivel. His waist is solid joined there, right at the waist of his pants, so no turning. All right, so double jointed knees. He does get a good bend there. My, my posing stand is struggling to hold him up. Those thighs are massive. So he gets kind of close to kicking his butt, but for the beast, I would think that he'd be more flexible, so his foot should get way up there, so that's disappointing. Now his toes, his toes are articulated a la Toy Biz days, but they are loose. When I was standing them up, those were giving me trouble. They kept flipping upwards, so the support wasn't there. His foot is on a rocker. Go forward, pretty decent. Woo, but it can go back, straight back. Good, good, good. And there's a split. About average for a legend. Not average for a beast though. His legs should go higher. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm going through trying to get him to stand up. So I'm gonna straighten his feet out here. I'm gonna put him down, straighten those feet out. And of course he stands the first time. <laughs> Makes a liar out of me. So anyway, I was having problems getting him to stand, but apparently, once I show you, it works. Okay, so maybe I just need to practice some more. <laughs> I'm whack. All right, so I swapped out his hands. You see I've got the fist in there now. And then the open hand. That's his palm hand for slapping people and also doing a one-handed handstand. All right, so check this out. I'm trying to get my beast to do a handstand. 
but man, that elbow is so loose it keeps falling down. And of course, when I turn the camera back on, it stiffens up. That's crazy. All right, folks, so what do you think? Um, I'm really impressed with the way he looks. I love the sculpt and the paint, but I'm not impressed with the articulation. Well, sorry, I'm not impressed with the looseness of the joints, I should say, because I had a lot of trouble getting him to stand up, posing him, and get him to stay balanced. Of course, I missed all that on camera. I don't know, maybe it's just mine. Let me know in the comments, are you having the same problems? And oh, I missed some articulation. Hold on one second. Looks like he's got a swivel right at the calf. Does this turn? Oh, I could be wrong. Oh, oh looks like I'm wrong. That separation line is deep though. I thought it turned. Okay, no, it doesn't turn. So what do you think? Dark Beast worth it? Are your other beasts good enough? You gonna pick him up? If you do, let me know how the joints are on yours. All right, geeks, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand. Check out our giveaway playlist if you're looking. Check out our giveaway playlist. We're going to be giving away some great stuff at our milestones. Also, follow us on Instagram. We're going to be doing some random giveaways that we haven't revealed yet in the next couple of weeks. So, like, subscribe. Thanks for all the support and the love I've been getting. Also, keep up the criticism. It really helps me improve and make changes. Until next time, geeks, geek out.